And tonight, a Capitol Hill homeowner is so fed up with dog poop left behind, she put up a prominent sign threatening to hurt dogs if the owners don't pick up after their pets. And some neighbors so that say that just goes too far. Now, good evening, everybody. I'm Shannon Ogden. And I'm Andrew Trujillo in Denver 7's Jessica Porter is live in that Denver neighborhood and found a lot more than just a few signs, Jessica. Well, you don't have to walk far in this neighborhood and look around to see exactly what this woman is upset about. She's making her point with this sign and she's leaving the mess that the pet owners are leaving behind tied up in bags up above in the trees. And it's that sort of unusual behavior that has neighbors saying the real problem isn't the dogs. It's understandable that, to be frustrated with dogs who are not yours pooping in your yard and that kind of stuff. but to go to the lengths where you're threatening to poison dogs. Dog owners, be warned. This neighbor has clearly had enough with owners not picking up after their dogs. But this sign she put up threatening to use poisoned meatballs and paw crushing traps is leaving people feeling uneasy. I'm frightened for the health of my dog. Somebody has now put in a large sign that she's going to poison animals that wander onto her property or set hunting traps to hurt animals and potentially kill them. Some people who saw the sign on next door defended the woman. Linda says, I doubt she meant the threats, but geez, dog owners, clean up after your dog. To be honest, it's the dog owners that are responsible for this, not the poor innocent animals that don't need to be, you know, poisoned with lure meat. In addition to the sign, she hung several bags of dog poop in a tree above the sidewalk. Jamie Zinger lives in works in the neighborhood and says she takes the threat seriously based on the woman's behavior. She's been very aggressive to the businesses in the neighborhood. The next door business has a restraining order against this lady. Um, she's put yard chairs out on the road to try and hold her own parking stalls. I reached out to the woman who made the sign to get her side of the story several times today, but she hasn't been home and hasn't returned any of my calls. Neighbors say they just want a peaceful resolution, like maybe she put up a small fence or have a civil conversation. Live in Denver, Jessica Porter, Denver 7.